Oh, it's about the old. Yeah, and he had like porno stars on, like the ads were all for like pop on. It was a Sandy King. Oh, I was, maybe I was thinking of Robin Bird. It's a Sandy King. If they want to talk, don't bother me. And welcome to Let Them Talk. Yeah, yeah. I'm Paul DiRienzo. And I'm Miss Joan Marie Mosey. We have a great show in store for you. We have Royce, Rona, and Celso, and we're going to be talking about graffiti art in the new show at the Woodward Gallery, which is a fascinating show. And uh, called Rather Unique. You're right, rather unique. And uh, and I'm um, looking forward to talking about it. We're going to show some pictures and some videos in a minute. And uh, and there's a few unique things about the show. Tell because, us what uh, those are, Johnny. Well, one of them, as everybody knows, the Woodward Gallery is a fantastic gallery. The Woodwards have incredible taste in art. And this show is the first time they've ever had a guest curator. Yes. In the history of the gallery, and that's Royce, that's me. who put this show together. And of course, John Woodward always hangs his shows beautifully. And we have some video. Yes, we to do. sort of set it up and show like what happened at the opening and see a little bit of the art and then we'll come back and talk to everybody and uh, look at some of the art more closely. What sounds do you good. Think, Paul? Yeah, sounds good. Let's go to the video actually. Yeah. Let's get people a little to, uh, to really understand what's going on. So I'm going to do that right. right. So this is Saturday night at the Woodward Gallery down on Eldridge Street right below Delancey and the show Although it got a lot more crowded than that, didn't it? Boy, howdy. <laughs> they were smart enough to video early. Right. And uh, so tell us a little bit about uh, about the show and about what, what it's about, what the show represents. Yeah, Royce, why don't you start off? Uh, the show represents, it's a group of artists that I feel strongly about that are really um, unique in the di different styles and the things they do on the street and in the gallery. So um, most of my friends of mine also, so I just pulled them together and decided to put a show together. Well, it's a beautiful show. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit, is it graffiti art? I mean, is that the accurate term for this? Term? I mean, I would just call it art. It's uh, post-graffiti art, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think the majority of the artists in the show are more street artists than uh, graffiti artists. 
Uh, what's street artist? How do those street artists differ from a graffiti artist? <coughs> Uh, this is so so. Hello, <laughs> mom. Um, uh, I, that's a good question. Uh, street artists tend to put up uh, install art as opposed to using uh, spray paint and markers mm -hmm. and pens and things like that. So a street artist might use yeah. weed paste or um, stencils. Posters, stencils. Would you say it takes more planning to do street art? Well, there's advanced planning, whereas it's more uh, spontaneous, I think, to be a graffiti artist, uh, which has its advantages and disadvantages. And what takes somebody from street art to a gallery? Usually, you get asked to be in a show. Like, how I, I got into a gallery was people were asking me, oh, do you have a show in galleries? And I would like, <coughs> no, but I wouldn't mind doing it, especially if I can make a little you know, money off of it. And. Um, yeah, that's how I... Now, what about the artists in this show? Because, for example, I've seen Matt Siren shown at the Woodward before, Dark Cloud. Yeah. Were there any people in this show that had never shown in a gallery before? I don't think so. I don't... No, I think everybody has had some, some kind of gallery experience. Maybe, like, smaller galleries, because the Woodward Gallery is definitely oh. a bigger step <laughs> up for a lot of artists. We've had shows together on the street, uh, in bars, and, you know, friends' apartments, so you know, to show in a, you know, Lower East Side Gallery is kind of a big thing, especially the Woodward Gallery. For a lot now tell us a little bit about your work. The piece that you have in the show is a, a shown <coughs> early in the video. It's a long blue piece with figures right. sort of silhouetted in black. It's uh, it's called Static Kill, and uh, it was influenced by um, the Gulf of Mexico oil spill. Uh, I was at the, down in the Gulf of Mexico uh, when it happened, when the spill occurred, uh, and I spent a lot of time uh, on the Gulf of Mexico, um, and just having the weeks and months drag out with the amount of oil uh, that was spilled into the ocean, it just really upset me. And that piece was sort of sort of a release for me to sort of deal with that tragedy. Mm -hmm. And are the black figures like drenched in oil? Is that <coughs> the imagery? Uh, yeah, it started out as a, a really beautiful painting of. Uh, the uh, Seven Sisters Pallades, and uh, as, like I said, as the months sort of dragged on, it just became darker uh, for me, and eventually, you know, they became these inky figures as opposed to these beautiful women emerging from the ocean. And the background is mostly, you know, spray paint that sort of represents the Gulf of Mexico. All right, so interesting. Now tell us a little bit about the pieces that you have in the show. Oh, you have a microphone. Oh, I have my have microphone. <laughs> Uh, all my, my work tends to uh, relate to my love of uh, comic books and horror movies as well as graffiti, uh, especially graffiti characters. A lot of people that they do their, their name in a stylized way, but then there's also a character or a figure, cartoon character or some sort of uh, little monster creatures or, or monsters yeah. that, that people make up that uh, that's the part of graffiti that I really uh, gravitated towards and enjoyed more and I that's what I I do zombies mostly All right. on the canvas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyone knew? <laughs> now, Royce, I noticed in in your work that you use imagery and text, <coughs> yeah. at least in the two pieces that I saw in the show. Is is that something that's pervaded your work? And what what makes you interested in the text side uh, of it? Text are kind of new. The two I ones, think, yeah. The, right? the two ones that deal with text. Um, there are two rap songs I really like. One was Nas, um, It Ain't Hard to Tell. Yeah. The other one was um, Chocolate Quest, The Lyrics to Go. And they're just songs that, you know, inspire me. Right, you know, spoke to you in song. some yeah, way, so yeah. I figured, you know, I think they're, once I, if I put it on the wall, it'll maybe inspire somebody else to read or get into those type of songs. Or, you know. Now, one thing I thought was really interesting about this show was the different medium, um, because there was for example, the one piece was just on a piece of canvas. It wasn't stretched onto a... a, a it was a, a Cosby piece? Yeah, it was like yeah. a bed, bed sheet or something. Yeah, like it was really interesting. So was it a bed sheet? Yeah, it was nice. like you were silk or like Russian something you found. Thing going on there. Yeah, the, and then also there was a, Matt Sirens was on tile. Yeah, it was like it looked like a bathroom. It was ripped right out of a bathroom yeah, yeah, wall. He made it, so, made yeah, it, but yeah, it looked like he could have ripped it out of a bathroom in Williamsburg or something. And then he had bolted those those uh, heads, yeah, his, his characters right yeah. onto it. Um, the other interesting thing I thought was um, the dark cloud. The the it sort of looked enameled on on uh, foam core, foam which was really yeah. interesting. That was foam core. Was poor, yeah, yeah. Poor, wow. I saw that afterwards. I'm like, you yeah, paint what you can get. Looks <laughs> like a solid piece of. It's, I know, thought it was wood. on mirror at first, and when yeah. I first saw it, as I came <laughs> by, I'm like, is that 
painted on mirror, but it was actually a foam core. Yeah, foam core with uh, pour on, which is yeah. uh, a highly. Now we have resin. some examples of you guys art here at a show. Oh, I think maybe we could go through some of these videos and you know, show them. Right okay, it. sure. And you guys can. Oh, the slideshow. Yeah, slideshow. You guys can continue. Uh, tell us a little bit what we're what we're watching. If uh, that was a, a, a street art. Uh, installation that we did in Long Island City called the Gallery of Pulaski. It was right by the Pulaski Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, all the work is original art. It was installed on this construction site. Um, and, you know, pretty much everyone that was in the Woodward show uh, had a piece out uh, oh, okay. on the street. And parts of it was over the course of the six months that it was on the street, parts of it were stolen. But uh, it, was, it was kind of a fun We'll see the stuff. report on that a few minutes. Oh, bringing <laughs> up also <laughs> the, the yeah, art heist at the Woodward. Yeah. Okay. So uh, what do we have here? Uh, that's our, our former studio, which is actually close to your studio here, uh, over on uh, the West Side Highway at 57th Street uh, in the former Art Craft building. Uh, and that's an endless love crew installation with a lot of friends. Uh, probably about a good two years worth of work there. Mm -hmm. The building is torn down to make way for a hotel. Oh, so it's not there anymore. Yeah, it's gone. Mm -hmm. It was just right around the corner, too. OK. There's a lot of changes. Uh, this is Art Shred. This was a, a, a conceptual piece that we did at a gallery, uh, and that's our Royce Bannon original. I just shredded one of my yeah. works, <laughs> and uh, we shredded about uh, a retail value of close to $20,000 worth of art that day. Why? <laughs> uh, I was going to ask that. <laughs> because uh, we can as artists. I mean, we put our work out on the street sometimes, so this was just a way of sort of just showing uh, the value of the piece. Right, that's sort of very anarchistic. It's like surreal. <laughs> yeah. A lot of uh, street artists and graffiti artists tend to be. Oh, this is a beautiful yeah. piece. This was a piece for the Woodward Gallery. Um, That's their project space. Project space across the street from the Woodward Gallery, and it's uh, that piece was called uh, Sardana, and it was based on uh, one of my favorite paintings at MoMA, which is by uh, Henry Machines. Okay. And that didn't get stolen. Uh, it only got <laughs> tagged. So this is, but is this outside right now? Is yeah, that's an outside. No, no, that's not there now. But no, that was yeah, last year, I think. Last yeah, year, this is an uh, outdoor space across from the Woodward Gallery where different artists have the opportunity to make a piece specifically right. for that space. And right. that's where the theft was. Yeah. They, someone yeah, stole they took one a movie panel. panel there. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't me, but it was a different <laughs> piece. Oh, yeah, this is, this is not outside though. This is it being exhibited inside. Right? No, so this is outside. It was outside. This yeah, outside. It was outside. this photograph was taken outside. Uh -huh. Yes, that's All the right. project space. Yeah, okay. It's a pretty good. awesome space. They have uh, Royce had uh, some monsters there for a I've while. Been, I've been curating the last two I did. Oh, I did uh, Woody and um, Kay. I've gotten those two guys. Yeah, the one that's up now. The one that's phenomenal. Really but it's such a yeah. successful <laughs> space. I mean, it's people have really utilized it in such a variety of ways, and yet right to the maximum degree. I mean, it's such a joy to walk down Eldridge Street and see that. No, it's great. It's great to do these kind of works on the street that get, you know, a lot of eyeballs. I mean, yeah. I think that's the most exciting. It's showing that. where oh, that kind of art came from like it was out on the street. Right. That's where it started. So right. it's like it's see, awesome. it's a natural environment as well as inside really a gallery. Right amount of space these days in New York to find to put places things to up, right? Just this. Uh, that was from a show a year ago at the Woodward Gallery. Uh, the piece in the far end, Dead End, was by Dark Cloud, another popular artist with the Woodwards. Uh, and the piece on the right is uh, a piece by me. Uh, and uh, that one is called Otto's Dream, and it's uh, a lot of spray paint. The background I worked on a lot with uh, Infinity, who couldn't be with us tonight. But, uh, but anyway, it's one of my favorite paintings. And, and just having the opportunity to show it in a gallery like the Woodward's as well. Do you guys always ask permission before you paint public spaces? <laughs> yeah. Nowadays. Uh, <laughs> it depends. No, if, it you, depends. if you ask permission, that tends to complicate things. Oh, right, so it's, it doesn't, it's not as anarchistic. Right? <laughs> yeah, uh, that was much fun. A uh, you know, question I have, the artsy, artsy fartsy question I have is, how does the work you do differ or does it differ from abstract expressions and sort of traditional American modern art? Um, I, I don't think there's much of a, a, a difference, really. I mean, I just think it's, it's a bit more, you're taking, I think, a bit more uh, risk doing it on the street because you're, uh, you're possibly, you know, you're willing to, you know, spend a night in jail for your work. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a little more risky than being out in the, <laughs> and that makes it more fun. Shack in that East Hampton or something. Right, right. <laughs> you got to make decisions a little right. quicker. You have to make these cheaply, too, and on the block. 
that was uh, a, a work uh, that we're looking I, at right now. Yeah, is uh, that's a big piece that's it's based on a Picasso drawing called the Conversation, and I painted it in um, in New Orleans with a buddy Rex. Um, it's about 20 feet across and eight feet high, and uh, it sort of led to my current work, which is in the Woodford Show. Where is this right now? No, are you originally from New Orleans? Uh, New Jersey. Okay, I'm from New Orleans. That's all oh, I nice. Have. Oh, nice. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> This is in the Arts uh, District. Uh, there's uh, a cool bar there named uh, the Half Moon. So that's where that piece is. In, in New Orleans. In New Orleans, yeah. But it's sort of, uh, those colors sort of played into my current work, which is a really good show. So, there it is. This piece. Yeah, that sort of led to that. Oh, I see. <laughs> and what, what does this represent? Well, that's what we were talking the, about the earlier, oil the oil spill. The oil spill. The right. uh, it's, that, oil spill. it's called Static Kill, and, um, you know, it was probably about a, about a year's worth of work to finish that. That's a beautiful piece. Thank you. It's not painted with oil, is it? No, it's a flat, lampshade black Japanese paint. Uh, <laughs> well, sorry, it does look like oil. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And um, a lot of the artists in the show tend to use that drippy technique, and it's something I think I picked up just from working with them so much. Yeah. Well, let's talk a little bit about collaboration, <coughs> because I know that all of you have your individual work, but you also seem to work with one another a lot, not just in the curatorial side, but also seemingly in the paintings. Yeah, I think collaborations are a lot more fun for the individual artists, because you, you don't, you, you can surprise yourself with what you're going to do, but what other people do will always surprise you, and then you have to sort of... And then you react to you that. You have to deal with that, and like, you know, not disregard what they did but incorporate it and or do something and then leave space for someone else to work and trust that person leave <laughs> space <laughs> oh i thought that's what we were supposed to do then. oh okay that's the streets well that was one of the interesting things with mike and fernando was that their work did have a lot of layered quality to it and almost like fabric in a way like looking through layers of fabric that it had a transparency. And there's a level of trust in those artists working together. Because it takes a while. We've worked with a lot of artists uh, as a crew. Um, and yeah, you just find out who works best. Is Who's a team player? And yeah, right. who's <laughs> going to get mad if you went over them. Yeah, you know. You know. Well, you know. By the way, we, the phones are open, and uh, we are willing to take calls. So <laughs> we'll give it a shot, 212-757-1538. The number's on the, uh, I'll call. On the screen. Remember, there is an eight-second <laughs> delay, which is sort of, you know, so Confusing we'll continue call. Sometimes, but Turn your television <laughs> down. All right, now, uh, Celso Iman's... Okay, is oh, these are... Uh, these are uh, Celso's here, right here. You've been listening to him. Some posters that I... Okay. working on here. Oh, this cool. is a, a series of uh, installations here. Um, I don't know if you can see these. <coughs> but uh, these are chicha posters, and they were, um, uh, they're really popular uh, in Peru. Yeah, hold it up oh, for okay. a second. Yeah, hold yeah. it up, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, um, yeah. And uh, I, I just love these, these retro colors. Uh, if you uh, did guys hold it on that side. Yeah. <laughs> they're, um, yeah, there How's that? They're, they're called chicha Salsa. posters, and in Peru, they're, uh, they advertise sort of working class concerts and chicha events, and, uh, and there's graffiti in Peru, but these dominate the streets, so I was really taken back when I saw them, so I, uh, I, I did, uh, you know, um, I had no these uh, of made after so designing them, and, uh, uh, and I've been installing them around the U.S. Oh, yeah. oh cool. Oh, here's another one. There's there you here. go. But these are, you know, it's like, it's old school, it's kind of a nice throwback, and uh, I've wrapped, uh, I've been in, into wrapping objects with these, and uh, I was out in Texas, I wrapped the Cadillac up there with these posters. Oh, okay. oh the, Cadillac, the Cadillac graveyard? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Cadillac graveyard. Large object. Yeah. Or and Cadillac then, hinge. collage work, too, which is a lot of fun. And here is a, is a shot of uh, an of install there, on the, uh, a legal install, of course, on the legal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, that's all right. I had permission. Right, actually, our... Our, our judge left already, so <laughs> you, you, you saw him coming in. So <laughs> that was <laughs> great. And here's another beautiful. So this is, yeah, the, the, the next step with them is sort of kind of going back to the abstraction and sort of on the streets, the, those posters eventually decay and they and then you get to see the posters behind right. them. Mm -hmm. And that's what this was sort of, you know, kind of recreate another that layering street. concept. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> things that you work out from what you see on the street, what you do on the street, and then, you know, you try and translate it into a, a gallery piece. But, you know. Now, have all of you guys been painting your whole lives? Did, did anybody go to art school? Uh, yeah, Rona. yeah. You went to art school? <laughs> yeah, probably. Wow. Silly purchase. Silly purchase? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I went to uh, the School of Visual Arts. I'm, okay. a, I'm a proud That's dropout. Good, yeah. I'm a, I heard it's a very popular school to drop out of, so <laughs> I feel like I'm in good company there. But I, I did learn a lot there. I just, you know, you're supposed to take a lot of courses, regular courses, as well as the studio classes. Oh, and you weren't interested. I was really interested. Not, yeah. But it's what taking a while. Oh, that's a good uh, This was a collaboration collabo. with uh, Rona and uh, Royce, and uh, I think they're Dark Cloud in there, too. Yeah. Uh, and this was uh, for uh, this is a temporary work which came directly onto a wall in Brooklyn uh, for the Fowler Collective. Green I point. see zombies, by the way. <laughs> and there's some there, zombies. Yeah. <laughs> and those must be mine. Uh, I was sort of working out these uh, Mexican uh, tarot cards, and that's like a mermaid kind of floating in, she's in a sea of tags, okay. and then we have some floating monsters. Yeah. Monster guys. Monster guys. Yeah. Oh, there's okay. that. Oh, and there's the, so there's the posters. Yeah, uh, this was an uh, install in Texas. I've been meaning to hit this spot for about 20 years. Is this, <laughs> is this the, yeah. the oh, famous yeah. Thanks. Cadillac in the sand? It's yep. still there. And as it was drying, people were tagging it. So it was pretty funny oh, yeah. to like, be so, part of that. So basically, th this Cadillac in the sand famous, I don't know really the history, but I've seen The ant farm. Uh, the, yeah. It was up, it, it's been there since 73. Actually, it was closer to Amarillo, but then they moved these Cadillacs further <laughs> out of town because the town expanded. So, uh, but if you're driving down like, I think it's 40, you can see them. Right. Like, about that. And I guess you're allowed to, to add to the art. Or Supposedly, yeah. So, huh. <laughs> well, I was very problem. concerned about this permission. There's probably not a lot of police presence. Everyone goes there with Mark. Well, you, you, you brought up the anarchists before. It was uh, very interesting to me in this Occupy Wall Street world that we live in right now. Oh, sure, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 uh, it's, it's, you know, not waiting for permission to no. do art in a world where nobody has permission to steal all our money. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey. It's got a slogan. That's what, like, uh, Arlo Guthrie, right, telling about his, his ticket for uh, littering, getting him out of the draft. Right. He wasn't moral enough to murder people. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather litter. Yeah. Classic. There you go. And uh, This was a, a disco that I built uh, for two people, but it was really like ten, ten people got in there. <laughs> Squeezed in. Really <laughs> but uh, it was a, a recreating the Peruvian chicha uh, disco tag, so it had a lot of chicha music and lights and pretty cool. That was fun. Looks fun. And this is a... Um, uh, over on 4th Street, Bryce and I painted this uh Oh, right, this by that hotel right there. That yeah. Hotel, right, the hotel they just built on Bowery and 4th. Yeah, right, Bowery. right, it's right around the corner. And yeah. there's an infinity tank further oh, down. Oh, you did Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With him. <laughs> I, I did it too. <laughs> okay. right. He's on the left. Yeah, right. yeah, I'm on another the left. collaboration. The guys Is it a skull it? phone down Okay, there? I walked yeah, by the skull phone. Really right. uh -huh. But, uh, yeah, that was for 4th Street. I think it's 4th Street Art. Uh... <laughs> but, uh, it was a community-based project. Thank you, Joyce. Well, Joyce hooked us up with that. Right. And was so this? I, I just said, did you do this in the middle of the night, or did it during the day? Uh, Royce put up I his monster like though, like right. a couple of weeks ahead of me because I was out of town. Uh, but he saved me a good space. And, yeah, I just See, that's what happens when people save space. <laughs> really. <laughs> oh yeah. The so they're are. trying to there support the dudes, or a friend was with one of my posters. Oh, oh, but the, it's kind of, it's kind of <laughs> a good oh, vibe down there. That wasn't you. That's not none of you guys. Not me, but somebody uh, doing this. Not me. That's Mr. Zuccotti. Well, how do you do the picture? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Zuccotti. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think Infinity, <laughs> Infinity took those photos. That's the height so. of uh, Occupy Wall Street when it actually occupied Wall Street. Yeah, when it was really kind of like exciting. Pretty and fun, not, yeah. Not cold and freezing, but it's and still pretty awesome. Not a tense awesome. city yet. Yeah, not a tense city. Happening. Happening. It's, it's still happening. It's still happening. It's still around. Back. Oh, well, as soon as the weather gets nice, they're going to be surprised. Well, I just want to remind everybody. Yeah, we did a lot on that. I just want to remind everybody to go down to the Woodward Gallery and see this show. Yes, it's on right. uh, Eldridge yeah. Street, just below Delancey. How long does this show run, Royce? February 19th, it'll be up. All right, so you've got plenty of time to get out open. there. But don't take your time. <laughs> I've done that yeah. before. Like, oh, that's up for, for, for a long time. Right, I will, I'll wait till later. Yeah. And, yeah. There's the and here's the poster out. for the show, yep. right? Yeah, yep. okay, here it is. We are just talking about it, and actually reading it's from it's rather unique. There's uh, all the artists in there. And uh, who did the card? The car was done by the gallery. Oh, nice. Yeah. I thought it was rather unique. <laughs> <laughs> well, we only have a few minutes left. So we'll qu quickly through. Two minutes already? Oh, no. Yeah, this Come is at the opening. opening. Yeah. 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 And that's Royce a piece Monster. of Royce's. That's one of mine. Yeah. That's one of Royce's pieces. All right. And so <laughs> there's a that Ethel Lucy. Lucy, Lucy, yes. Lucy, Lucy. Lucy there in the gallery with uh, Otto's Dream. And uh, here's a cool painting. 
Uh, this was an ELC show we did at Kingsborough Community College. Just some of the bigger canvas, those are all collaborative works in the background. Um, there's probably at least two dozen or more artists involved in those, in those works. Yeah. Cool. How did uh, you guys all meet each other? Uh, just working on the street mostly. Uh, it's really a small community of artists and you kind of get to know who's doing what. And we used to have these paint jams at different apartments and rooftops. And that's how we got to know each other. Right. Pretty nice. Yeah. That's a Bushwick... Uh, Castle Brave. Uh, huge, yeah. Uh, it's probably about 30 feet high. It's kind of hard to see the perspective there. But I was into drawing uh, mutant sea monkeys. For <laughs> <laughs> and there's some monsters. Like the ones you used to buy through comic books. Yeah, right? yeah. 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 But the they're better when they have like one eye. and you know, Hey, I did that. Oh, there's the yeah. <laughs> That's probably by me. Um, oh, there he is again. Great. Well, guys, you only have a few minutes, but uh, a fascinating <coughs> job that you're doing, and uh, we're real, real excited about it. Um, in the next couple of minutes, maybe tell us a little bit about uh, about the message, if any, that you would like people to take away from, from this program. Message. Oh, well, you wrong. curated. <laughs> <laughs> now everyone's looking at Roy. <laughs> I mean, it's chaos and simplicity. It's uh, yeah, just come down and enjoy the art. It's uh, art for the people. It's for it is for it's, the people. It's like no age range. You, you'll see something that you enjoy no matter. There's you such a beautiful also. variety yeah. there. I really think it's fantastic, and that people will really enjoy it. You Absolutely. can see by the by the people that showed up at the the opening, which was just like eight to eighty. It was yeah, just like such a diverse everybody crowd. It was incredible. Kids really. loved it. Yeah. Yeah. Some little kids running around, and animals. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was my family. <laughs> so that's yeah, yeah. down at the Woodward Gallery. Woodward Gallery. It's on Eldridge Street, oh, just below Christine, Delancey. Christine and John. Thank you, John and Christine. Oh, yes, the Woodwards. All those guys over there. They're awesome. That's right. And it's up till February 19th. Yes. Tuesday until yeah. Sunday. And what's so next? What's, what's next? next? What's next? Oh, man. Dinner, I, I think. <laughs> I want to curate more. Um, I want to do a photography show, honestly, but we'll see about that. More collaborations. More collaborations. Yes. That's fun. More it's always... Destruction on the Destruction. <laughs> oh, sorry. Creation. Oh, creation. I mean enhancement. <laughs> Enough destruction going on. I mean beautification. Yes, yes. That's right. More bookstores that close down. We got more places to paint, you know. <laughs> but, uh, just uh, maybe for folks to, you know, first of all, see all of this. A little bit. We're, we're cramping everybody into a pretty small studio. Most folks don't realize how, how small the studio is and getting everybody in it all at once is difficult. But want to get at least one so shot. Everybody leaves. Roll. There we are. Do you see Roy? Yeah, we Let Roy see Roy Wait, is great. There, there, there. We're all together now. Great. And uh, so thanks a lot for coming and for uh, for uh, sharing your work with us. It, it's just beautiful. Yeah. And um, here it is. Yeah. Here's some more stuff. And and uh, good luck to you all. And uh, we urge folks to go down to the Woodward Gallery and to really check out this pretty interesting. What do you have there? What are those? It's just oh, some zombie zombies. stickers. You might right. see these around town. They give these out, and then little kids put them up in weird places. I okay, we'll see. Yeah, I, don't know how, I, don't, I don't know how they get there. <laughs> right. Cool. All right, guys. Uh huh. Awesome. Well, thanks again for having us. And thanks for coming. We love the show. And you know. right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Wow.